Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. Well, today we're starting Psalm 139. Psalm 139 is probably one of the more popular or well-known psalms in the book of Psalms, especially in this day when people are questioning, is there a God? Does God care about me? Is there any value in my life? What am I living for? What am I about? Well, this psalm reminds us that God made us. We're fearfully and wonderfully made. God knows us. God cares for us. God has searched us out. Uh, as we study the psalm, first we recognize that David is the writer, the poet of this great masterpiece of poetry. He wrote it to be sung. He wrote it for the chief musician, it says in the title. And it's a psalm that, oh goodness, we should memorize it. We should hide it in our hearts. We should read it over and again and just remind us that with God, we are special and He cares about us, especially in a day when people are devalued, we're made nothing more than a number and uh, just one of the crowd. Oh, my friend, the God of the universe, the God who put the stars in space, the God who made this fantastic planet called Earth and every detail about it, he knows every detail about your life. So let's read. Let's read a few verses here and uh, with a few comments and hopefully encourage you today. He says, O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know my setting down and my rising up. You understand my thought afar off. You comprehend my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but behold, O oh Lord, you know it all together. You have hedged me behind and before and laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high and I cannot attain it. You know, it's very important to understand what we think about God and our relationship to Him determines what we think about everything else that's made up in this busy world of ours. What we think about other people, the universe, God's Word, God's will, sin, faith, obedience, all these things are determined by what we think about God. Oh, yes, we need to have a knowledge of God. You see, wrong ideas about God will ultimately lead to wrong ideas about who we are and what we're here on earth for and what we should do with our lives. And of course, this leads us down a wrong path and leads us to a wrong destiny. In other words, our thoughts about God determine everything about our lives. A knowledge of God, the right knowledge of God, who God is and how God values us and cares for us leads to a fulfilled life. You know, the, they tell us that the number one uh, course that young people take in college is psychology and they take a psychology major of all things and yet there are very few jobs and very few of them will use that degree to take a job in the field of psychology or counseling but why do they do it well they tell us the young people at that stage in their life are searching for themselves well my friend what's better than searching for yourself is searching for god search for god now when you begin to search for god like this passage says oh lord you find out real quick you have searched me. You find out that God intimately knows you. God is concerned about you. And one thing about God, you cannot deceive Him. He knows your thoughts are far off even before you think them. He not only knows you intimately, He understands you. He knows what makes you click. You know, every one of us is created in the image of God. We're created uniquely and different than anybody else on planet Earth. Our DNA is different. My friend, God loves you. He cares for you. He's given you a life that you only get from Him in the first place, and you are of great value to Him. And David said, such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot contain it. In other words, he said, I'm not equal to begin thinking about 
how much God cares for me and he intimately knows me. Let's remember that today as we begin this Psalm 139. You're of great value to God. God knows you intimately and God wants you to know that he sees everything you do and he cares about you. Well, God bless you and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.